Hi, and welcome to Bring the Zoo to You. I'm Laura. I am one of the host stock keepers here at Rolling Hills, and today we're going to be talking about rhinos. So with me right here, we have Joya, who is our Indian rhino. Um, Joya is 31 years old, um, and he has been at the zoo since he was about four. Um, so as you can see, he has very rough skin. Um, so Indian rhinos do spend most of their time in the water. Um, and he also is standing here because I'm touching him. Rhinos have very sensitive skin and they love to be touched. So let's see if he'll play with us. I got some bananas for him. They are his favorite. He will do a lot for bananas. Hi buddy, come here. Joya. He also is a large animal, so I can't force him to do anything. He has to choose to do what he wants. Um, so we do a lot of enrichment with these guys. I don't know if you can see there's a tire down there that he likes to manipulate. Um, I have a feed bag that I'm going to give him. Um, and then he also has hanging enrichment that we regularly give them. So he's opening his mouth because he wants me to give him the banana right now. Um, so we do have him trained to lift his head and then to open on command so that we can check his mouth um, and also throw food in there, which he really likes. Obviously right now I don't need to ask for it because he sees his bananas. Um, so as you can see right here, uh, Joya has a prehensile lip. So he uses this to grab leaves um, off of trees and to also in the water pull up aquatic plants because that would be most of his diet. Up, open, good boy. So Joya is pretty notorious. Most people kind of know him around the zoo. Um, since he has been here so long and he has such a personality. Now if you come here in the summer, he is going to be out in his pool and you most likely you're only going to see his little ears sticking up. Um, and most people think he's a hippo, but he's not. He's our, um, he's our rhino. So he has a flat horn. We often get asked if we trim or cut his horn. We did not. Um, so rhinos actually self-maintenance their horns. So that means they choose what length they want to have at, and they keep them that length. Um, so he used to have a little bit bigger horn, and when he was sparring with his brother, he actually um, knocked it off, and then since then has just kept it short. Boy. All right, so one last thing I'm gonna give him before we go to talk to Uzazi is a paper bag. He loves paper bags. He'll take it and he'll push it around on the ground and play with it and then eventually he will dunk it in his water which is always fun to clean up later but he enjoys it so. all right so let's go see if Uzazi wants to come talk to us all right so now we've moved over to look at joy or Uzazi our white rhino um, Uzazi is 28 years old um, and he has also been here since he was young. And as you can hear in the background, Joya got to his bag <laughs> and is now going to make a whole bunch of noise. So I brought a sweet potato for Zazi. He really likes them and he likes to smash them. So that's one of the forms of enrichment we do. We do a lot of food enrichment because um, it's something new to them. It's something that they can manipulate. So he will smash that with his horn and then he'll eat all the pieces. <laughs> Good boy. So Uzazi has a much calmer um, demeanor than Joya does. Um, he's pretty relaxed. He kind of likes to lounge around. He enjoys naps, especially outside. He loves to sleep in his sand. Um, and overall, it's just kind of a little bit slower moving uh, animal. Uh, that doesn't mean he can't move fast. Rhinos can actually run very fast. Um, they walk on their tiptoes, which means they can turn on a dime, and they can also pick up speed very quickly. Um, they're very impressive, especially when you see an animal that size moving that quickly. Um, so you can see that he has two horns, um, and his are a little bit bigger. Um, naturally, uh, white in rhinos and black rhinos, their horns get much bigger than the Indian species do. do. Um, and you can also see kind of the shape of it where he's been rubbing it down and shaping it himself. Um, the other th unique thing about white rhinos is their big, fat, wide lip. Um, so that's actually where their name comes from. Most people think it's because of their color. It's not. 
Um, there was a misinterpretation with uh, the language because they originally were called um, the word for wide in um, Afrikaans down in South Africa. Um, and people mistook that in English and call, started calling them white. And then that's kind of how it progressed into calling black rhinos, black rhinos. So it's actually because of their wide lip. Um, and that wide lip is great for grazing and keeping their head on the ground. Um, you can see he has a very large head. So his head alone weighs about 500 pounds. And this big mass up here, this is all muscle. And he needs this to help keep his head up and to pull it up um, for grazing and for drinking and that kind of a thing. So that is just all muscle. So he doesn't, he can't lift his head super high. He can a little bit more than this, but not a lot. Whereas Joya can lift it pretty much all the way. Um, so he, they just have a little bit different dexterity. Um, and you can see like their body's shapes too. Uzazi is a little bit shorter, um, a little bit more round, kind of built a little bit more like a tank um, than Joya is. So, um, so difference in enrichment for like Joya, we like to give him things that kind of keep him busy. Um, and he really likes tactile stuff, stuff he can rub on and feel. Um, Uzazi likes things he can smash. <laughs> so his favorite enrichment is things like barrels and boxes and bags because he just smashes them. Um, so it's kind of difference in personality and also difference in like species of rhino. So I think that's it. Um, thanks again for tuning in to today's episode of Bring Zoo to You. And I'm Laura. Thank you.